All right, we are back outside the base. Now, odd thing is, depending on... Sometimes you may exit the base and you realize that your position doesn't exactly match which um, building you entered. Don't worry about that. The order in which you enter the buildings does not matter because no matter what happens, the game will just random will just place you someplace so you didn't you don't expect. Let's go ahead and move just I move in. Commander. All right. Let me go ahead and have Tally and Garrus uh actually you know what? I'm going to have them take cover right about let's see right here. Not cover, but let position them right here. No can do. Oh, come on, Tally. I'm blocked. Tally. Something's in the way. Okay. I think Tally needs help. Let me go ahead and just push Tally a little bit. There we go. Tally. Destination blocked. Ah, oh, come on, Tally. 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 Okay, there we go. I'm proud of you. Just stay right there, Tally, and don't freak out. Let me go ahead and grab the two lockers, two items in this room, or two containers in this room. Go ahead and hack this real quick. There we go. We should have one more container somewhere around here. Ah, right back here. Let's go ahead and grab this bad boy. Get it, get it going. Oh, here we go. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. I'm going to have Garrus and Tally just stay back there, and I'm going to rinse and repeat like I did last time. Now, keep in mind, you may run into little red turrets, and those red turrets can shoot rockets. If you see those turrets, hit those things with sabotage. Or take them out as fast as possible. Okay, that didn't work out the way I wanted, but I'll take it for what it's worth. All right. Let's go ahead and move in. Get the rest to, uh... Oh, hello. Got a whole party coming in right here. No, no, right here. Oh, wow. That one's not properly sabotaged. Let's do that again. Oh, by the way, Tally? Oh, come on. There we go. There are my squaddies. Look at that. See, look at them doing all that work, man. So we got an entire group of enemies right here. They're now all nice, bunched up, ready to go. Let's go ahead and hit them with a little bit of sabotage and overload. And now they can't fire back. This strategy is extremely useful if you want to minimize damage to you and your squad. So just keep that in mind. It'll make your insanity runs a lot easier. Look at that. See? Little effort whatsoever. This goes to show in Mass Effect 1. If you know what you're doing, you can make almost any build work for you. Let's go ahead and move in and clean up the last two. They're moving right around this corner. Okay, let's go ahead and hit him with sabotage and overload. we go. Clear. All right. Now, like before, we have some more VI conduits to take out. Now, this time, since we are, are in the second area of the facility, the second building, once we take out one of the conduits, we will actually have kinetic barriers that appear to block every single doorway. 
It's not too much of a nuisance if you've already taken care of the enemies, but if you have enemies around you, you can end up in a situation where you're trapped in an area. Alright, so for right now, the barrier is not too much of a problem at all. However, later on, they may become an issue. But thankfully, we know what we're doing. Aw, oh, come on, really? There we go, look at that. Okay, let's have uh, Garrison Tally to wait right here. I don't want them getting caught in the blast. Oh, and keep in mind, these VI conduits will explode when they're destroyed. So you want to keep your distance, otherwise it'll take some toxic damage. Let's go ahead and have, um, I don't know if my, I don't think my rounds can do any damage to them. Yeah, I think Garrison Tally are safe from my rounds, but... I always have to make sure. You can never you never know when something weird can happen. But anyway. See? Even I'm safe from my own rounds. Oh, come on, Garrus, really? Walk right into my line of fire, Garrus. Okay, Garrus, Tally, just wait back here. Please. Tally. Thank you. Look at that. Let's go ahead and take out the last two. Alright, last one. And the second of the VI clusters is offline. Got it. We are almost done with Rogue VI. Let's go ahead and make our way outside. And always remember, if you see a barrier in the way, just shoot it. it makes life easier. Alright, we are now outside, and we have one more base to enter. Let's go ahead and make our way towards the last base. Get out on foot, and prepare to take care of the last of the VI clusters. This is actually a very easy assignment to do if you know what you're doing. Clear. Now, unfortunately for this area, we are going to have to use some weapons fire in order to take out the barrier. So once we do that, we're going to be thrown into combat mode. The enemy is going to be aware that we are in this room, so we've got to go ahead and get our tech abilities ready, make sure we're prepared for any contact. Now keep in mind, the regular drones themselves cannot open doors, however, the rocket drones can. So you want to be extremely careful, not get carried away, and don't take too many risks. And they're like Velociraptors, they just, you know, learn how to open doors, man. And there we go. I think that's the last item. want to make sure. One, one item. Where's the other one? I already forgot where the other one is. This is not a good sign. My memory fails me. That was one, and, uh, you know what? Two. Yeah. Okay. I'm actually going to have Garrison Tally do the same thing like before, and they are already zeroed in on an enemy somewhere in the back room. Somewhere in that main room, actually. Let's have them wait right about there. Take out that shield. Let's make our way down the corridor. Now, the enemy is already aware that we are here, so once we get close enough, they will go ahead and engage us. Can't see anyone just yet. However... Okay. Yep, and you hear that explosion in the background? That was the sound of a rocket turret going off. Oh, hey, what's up, guys? Okay, let's go ahead and just use um, overload, overload and sabotage. Because we do have a red turret right here. It's a rocket drone, so you don't want these things to fire at you. Okay, Tally. Okay, we're gonna need another sabotage going pretty soon. So, let's see about right now. Uh, this is not good. Okay, we have another sabotage. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Oh, 
Okay. We have one right here. Hello. Okay, let me go ahead and use Overload and Sabotage again. Let's just go ahead and win with Damping because we feel like it. I feel bored. Damping is my friend. Alright. And that is the last of the hardest section of combat that we'll ever have to deal with. From here on, it's straight sailing. This episode is going to be very combat-oriented, very combat-heavy. This is actually one of my least favorite assignments because it's a lot of rinse and repeat. Not very exciting, not a whole lot to do. I personally prefer assignments where you have dialogue and you have um, morality decisions to make, but assignments like these are pretty um, cut and paste, and I don't really like them that much. Nonetheless, we will take what we can from it. Okay, and the last one is going to add more enemies in this room over here. So we're not going to open that door just yet. More importantly, however, because the connect barrier is in the way, those enemies will not be able to get to us for now. Let me go ahead and take out this VI conduit right here. Look at that. Looking beautiful. And we have Garrison Tally get away from that, from this conduit right here. There we go. And... This room looks clean. Let's go ahead and switch up to our rifle and get ready for contact. Now we can actually see one, two, and there's a third enemy somewhere right about there. So we have one rocket drone right here. Let's go ahead and prioritize this hostile and knock out its weapons. There we go. That is the last of the combat for this mission. Negative contacts, Commander. I mean, this assignment. Let's go ahead and have Garrison Tally wait in the room again. And let's go ahead and take out these VI conduits. Very rinse and repeat. Very tedious, but pretty easy to do. Now, my recommendation is if you are doing this assignment, or you want to do it, Wait till you get better gear, because otherwise, if you're playing in any difficulty, you can get overwhelmed very quickly. A burst of white noise over all frequencies nearly deafens you. Your heart suit's heads-up display interprets it into a series of zeros and ones. They repeat again and again, blanketing all frequencies until the lights on the final VI cluster flicker and die. Specialization class achieved. Alright, now, this assignment is unique because this assignment will actually unlock your specialization class for each of your six base classes. So, Soldier, Infiltrator, Adept, Vanguard, Engineer, Sentinel. Each of those has two specializations. I already had went ahead and went with the Commando specialization for Infiltrator, so... Once you get the specialization in your first playthrough, you cannot get it again. And this is pretty much it. Well, let's go ahead and make our way outside. We are done with UNC Rogue VI. So let's wrap this up. Now, if you think this music track right here is pretty eerie, imagine trying to listen to this over and over again every time you enter a base. It's going to drive you insane. Alright, we are about to wrap up UNC, Rogue VI. Let's go ahead and get in the Mako, and I will go ahead and just de-equip my squad, take the gear back from them, and we're ready to call for exfil. Alright, let's summon the Normandy, and I will see you guys back in the CIC. Alright, and that was UNC Rogue VI. We have taken care of the Rogue VI. However, if you remember that little screen that popped up, hang on, when we took care of those VI conduits, something strange happened. There was actually binary code that appeared on the screen. Well, if you actually take a look at that binary code and interpret it, it spells out help. 
For some reason, the VI seems to have been reaching sentience, moving towards the status of an AI. And if we take a look at the journal description for UNC Rogue VI, let's go ahead and find it right about somewhere. Right about here. It discusses how the VI has somehow reached sentience. We don't get to hear much about this assignment until Mass Effect, I guess you can say Mass Effect 3, near the end, where things become made a little, made things got made a little bit clearer. And I guess you can say until Mass Effect 2, I believe a certain character will reveal something about the incident on Luna. This is actually one of my least favorite assignments. The combat seems very cut and paste, but that's kind of the thing for Mass Effect 1. Combat is pretty generic. But nonetheless, that assignment is done, and we can close a chapter on another endeavor in Mass Effect 1. Alright, this is Great Tree Jam. I just want to wish you guys a happy day, night, evening, afternoon, wherever you may be in this universe or the next. And I hope to see you in my next vid. But until then, I bid you farewell. Bye.